Hello and welcome to the view from the IDB. Uh, so the session of the IIF uh, Latin America Forum is just finished. Uh, so we're having a bit of a noise in the background, but I am here with uh, Roberto Padovani, who is the uh, chief economist of uh, Banco Votaramcim, uh, a Brazilian bank. Roberto, you've been on a panel a uh, few um, minutes ago, uh, and you were talking, obviously, about your views on Brazil, which are, I'm going to say, rather optimistic. But your views were also, um, in a way, uh, Seconded by uh, one of the keynote speakers uh, here at the IF, which is um, Alfonso Pragai, the economy minister of Argentina. He went as far as saying that he's feeling even a little bit jealous of Brazil at the moment because the judiciary system is working. So what I would like to ask you now is to sum up your views uh, on the country and in particular what the current political uncertainty. Uh, we may have uh, a decision on the impeachment of the president Dilma Rousseff as early as uh, the end of next week. Uh, so what are you expecting uh, to happen in Brazil in the, in the next month as a, as a consequence of uh, the possible scenarios? Well, I think that uh, what we've learned from South America history of the past years is that when we have recession, corruption scandals, uh, lack of political support at the Congress, protests, massive protests, the government has fallen. So my call is that Dilma Rousseff's uh, presidency is bound to, to end. Uh, it's not clear how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. My personal understanding is that maybe next week uh, the impeachment process will be approved. But if we failed in having this process over, uh, probably next month uh, we're going to have uh, a call for new elections. So something is going to happen, uh, in my understanding, that will make us move on in, in the political scenario. So I'm pretty much optimistic that we're going to overcome the political turbulences. So you obviously work for uh, a, a big bank in, uh, uh, in Brazil. Uh, Brazil's biggest banks um, are uh, used to dealing with uh, crisis. Uh, the uh, years of hyperinflation in the past clearly were even more challenging than what the country is going through at the moment. What about the banks that are not as big as the big names? Uh, what problems do you see them having to overcome in the future, such as, for example, funding, funding issues? Well, of course, it's, uh, since the, the political risk is increasing or has been high for a while in Brazil, uh, funding has a major problem, uh, not only for banks, but the corporate side. But the most important story these days regarding funding or regarding credit is that since we lost confidence in the future, major, the most important bankers, uh, myself included, we are part of this team, we have been very conservative in, in, in giving credit. Uh, so, so we have seen, due to the uh, national uh, turbulence, but also because uh, entrepreneurs uh, has low confidence in the future, we don't. See, we have seen this credit crunch in Brazil. So the financial crisis these days is huge, uh, not because of the demand side, but because of the supply side. Uh, the funding problem is a the real problem. Uh, but uh, as soon as we can overcome the political crisis. I, and give some kind of st stable sign or signs that we're going to have a macro stability, then I believe the confidence will be back, then I believe the funding issues will be overcome too. And uh, so hopefully the future of Brazil is going to look much brighter um, in, in not a too distant future. What about the rest of Latin America? I think we have this kind of... Uh, we, we, we Latin Americans, we, we depend on China, we depend on the, the commodity prices. So the commodity cycle is over. Uh, so we have to deal with this new scenario for us. The, this new scenario has to do with reforming ourselves. So since the global environment is not going to help Latin countries anymore, so we should convince investors that we, uh, we are responsible. We do have productivity. So they have to invest in Brazil, in Latin America, in Argentina. It's interesting to, say that, uh, to see that Latin countries, most of them, Lack, uh, they have a problem of lack of infrastructure. So there's a lot of opportunities uh, all over the, the area for investments. So we have to reform, we have to be responsible, we have to build up a better regulatory environment to attract capital investments, these, capital flows these days. So we have to wait a little bit, forget about the China, and let's be focused on ourselves to solve our problems. Very good. Well, that's very good advice. So thank you very much for your comments. Uh, it's, now it's a wrap here from the IAF in Nassau. Thank you. Thank you.